What is going on guys? We are back in the rig. It's been a long three weeks. Um, if you don't know, I was fishing the head-to-head -head tournament up in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I was up there for 12 straight days. Um, man, it was a horrible grind. It was awesome though. The experience was incredible. Everybody, the outpour of support and everything was incredible. Um, I ended up taking second. It's a bracket style. If you've not checked it out, check them out on Facebook, head to head fishing or h2hfishing.com. It's a bracket style, so there's 16 guys, eight guys on Monday, eight guys on Tuesday, and you fish off against each other. So it's me versus someone else. Anything over two pounds counted. So we had five hours per day. You could check in your app when you weighed fish to see how your opponent's doing and, uh, you know, put that pressure on you on, hey, I got to catch some fish here in five hours. I was up there for about a week pre-fishing as I've never been up there. I fished pool four, I fished pool 13, but I've never been to seven, eight, or nine. Um, so it was a grind just to try and find fish. They had massive tournaments before it, the weekend before, the college, the high school before that. The water was low. These fish didn't, I mean, they were beat up. They just didn't know what was going on. Um, and trying to find fish was just absolutely terrible. But these are the three combos that I use pretty much the entire four days of competition. Um, yeah, four days. I didn't think I'd make it past day one. I actually only booked a room till Tuesday. Um, I didn't think I would beat the guy I was going against. Um, that's not against me. It's just the, everybody there was a local. They all fish like BFLs, are really good. I mean, there's some really good guys. I've cashed tens of thousands of dollars on that place that I ended up beating. Um, I just grounded it out, and uh, these are the three combos. This pretty much is the only thing I threw. Um, again, it was just a tough bite. So I stuck to what I love to do, and that is flipping, pitching, and throwing a frog. And up there, if you've ever seen it, Everything looks incredible. The grass, the eelweed, the pads, everything looks like it should hold 15,000 fish. But I think I caught one keeper on Monday, one keeper on Tuesday, or two keepers on Tuesday, two keepers on Thursday or something. I mean, it was a straight grind for everybody. And we're gonna start out with my jig setup. This is what I threw. Jigs on. Um, I threw a green pumpkin orange jig with the Excite Baits Raptor Tail Craw and green pumpkin black flake. Um, I threw the half flip just because it's my go to jig. It's insane to skip. Um, it's got the uh, a little bit stiffer weed guard here. It's got the heavy gauge hook here. I mean, this is a monster hook. It's really hard to straighten out. Uh, I'm throwing it on 25 pound Seaguar Abrazex. No braid for me on these. I'm throwing it on a Dobbins Ecstasy 725C on a Steez Limited 8 1 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I caught key fish on this rig on Tuesday. No, Monday. Monday, I caught my only keeper and key fish on it with about 8 or 10 minutes to go before Dink Fest. Uh, no, my, 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 the guy I was going against didn't even catch a keeper. So if we did not catch a keeper with about two hours ago, we'd go into dink fest. So you'd have to catch as many dinks as you possibly can. And that would decide the winner. So with eight minutes to go before going into dink fest, I stuck a two pound even on a point with a bunch of wood laydowns. Um, it was just a key. I mean, it was just a perfect area for a keeper to be in, especially a large mouth. Um, but that pretty much set me up and I flipped that the rest of the week My next bait is gonna be the Missile baits destroyer And green pumpkin black flake I threw this on a Half ounce Omega custom tackle tungsten weight as you can maybe see there It's got the Omega logo plus the half ounce to know what you're throwing and the uh, black no chip, you know, uh, tungsten on it. I pegged it as well. This is a four aught 
I think it is a River to Sea, Ish Monroe, New Jack Flip or something like that. Great hooks, super sharp. I caught my key fish. Oh, this is on uh, 25 pound Seaguar Brace X as well. Daiwa SV, 8 1 to 1. Um, on a Dobbins Champion 735C, awesome uh, frog in, light frog in, light cover, and uh, pitching beavers, pitching 10 inch worms as well. But I threw it on, um, I caught my key fish on day two? Yeah, day two, I think it was. I caught a three pounder on this on day two um, and caught some other smallmouth and stuff on it. Um, it's just a little bit slimmer profile than let's say a jig. It has a longer, but it's a more narrow. It's a little bit more compact, especially punching around that eel wrasse and uh, on some of the laydowns that I was going targeting. But that is the other combo. Um, I pretty kept it simple. I didn't want like 30 rods on deck. I just didn't know what to do to consistently uh, knock those fish out. Um, the next combo pretty much caught a lot of fish during practice and my fish on Thursday and Friday is the uh, the frog rod. Um, I was throwing it in two different colors. This is the Nori's NF60. This is in black white. I had a black red that I lost to dogfish or pike. I think it was a pike. Um, this is on my custom zillion HLC 731 gears. Dobbins Champion 736, 65 pound uh, braze, um, Seaguar Smackdown braid. I caught my key fish on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday on it. I just did not. Um, Friday I was using a depth slow K. Friday I did not have a keeper until late in the afternoon or late in the uh, the round. I found the. I, I caught two fish probably within 30 minutes of each other. I had like four and a half pounds. I probably should have stayed there or started there um, a little earlier so I could fish a little bit more because there was tons of there's fish around there. It was clear water. There's tons of current. Um, you know, but I did miss, I think I missed two or three keepers on this um, earlier in the day fishing some stretches of grass that... I mean, they just straight blew up on it, but they missed a the bait by like a foot and a half, and uh, they wouldn't come back to it. So, a little frustrating. I knew this would kill me. Um, I knew it could either win me the whole thing, or it would come back to haunt me. Just because frog fishing in that heavy slop and stuff is just a low percentage hookups. Um, no matter what you do, it's they, they just... I mean, those fish will, uh, I mean, you'll be bouncing that frog and pause it. They'll blow up behind it because that's where it was, and they don't know where it is now. So they can't see it all the time. It wasn't open water. Um, I caught some just key, key fish on Thursday with like a half hour to go. We were tied. I had one keeper. Then he caught one. He thought he won. I caught a two-and-a-half or three-pounder on the frog on the edge of this grass. Um, if you go to the Head-to-Head -head Facebook, you can, like, you can see all the footage, all the lives. We were live for four days. I think we broke all records for their live streaming. We had like 165,000 views or something like that. It was awesome. Um, great experience. Took second place. I'm hoping to do more next year. I already asked if the one in the fall is filled up, and it is. So we're hoping to get back there. But those are the three combos. <laughs> That uh, took second place on head to head. Uh, one little money, pretty much paid for the whole week or the whole 12 days I was up there. So it was cool. Um, it really wasn't about the cash, it was about like getting the brand out and the live streaming and getting new people to come in and watch. I mean, we had people that I've never seen talk about fishing message me, hundreds of people. I mean, it was insane the amount of people that messaged me. Um, it was very freaking cool. So uh, that's it. Uh, I got back home and I was exhausted. I fished the tournament, drove eight and a half hours home. I think I slept for like five days straight. Uh, been knocking out reels. I had a ton of reels show up. I had like 40 wake baits I had to paint up. Did some reels today. I've been doing a bunch of crap the last 10 days. So catching up with that. Going out fishing later this week. Uh, fished yesterday. So smash that thumbs up, guys. 
We will talk to you guys later, and be safe, guys. Later.